Hey guys, WiseGamer here, bringing you another indie game review. This time we're looking at Recursion Deluxe, a puzzle platformer that just came out on Steam February 12th, so about three weeks ago. Covering a lot more new releases lately, let me know if you guys like that or if you prefer more early access or Kickstarter games. And with that being said, let's go ahead and hop right into it. So, Recursion Deluxe, so basically this is a game, you can pick it up on Steam for about five bucks, I'll have all the links down below. It's a platforming game that's very classic in a sense, however, it has a little bit of a unique twist to it too, that you see in some other elements of games, but kind of not in this way here. So, it's a throwback to like 16-bit um, classic platforming games, but if you go off the edge of the map, you actually come back on the other end. And if you go off like the top of the map, you come in off the bottom, and you can kind of like use that to manipulate the level and be able to solve the puzzle to be able to flip different switches, avoid bees, which are the, the main enemy here and be able to collect extra things like the little stars here and stuff like that too. And, um, it's very much looks like a mobile game in the sense of like collecting you know, between one and three stars plus the bonus star and then finish the level. Uh, but as you progress through it actually is quite fun. Um, I didn't think I was going to like it too much to be honest. When I got it sent from the devs I, I initially, initially said you know well you know it, it looks pretty good I don't know if my channel is going to be good for it or not. And then I looked into it more and said, let me go ahead and do it anyway. I don't like turning people down, and, and it really turned out to be quite well. So in the gameplay, uh, you play a guy that um, crash lands onto the Earth, basically, or onto a strange planet, I should say. It's not really the Earth. And uh, you're trying to find your way back home. So as you do that, you progress through different levels. You learn all the different laws of the physics here. So again, being able to go off the map on one side and pop up on the other side. So you'll see sometimes, like, you have to jump off to the right into seemingly nothingness. However, you land on a platform that's up on the left side instead. And that allows you to get to a different part of the map, or... Um, you'll hit like this up arrow and you flip upside down and then jump to the, the ceiling so suddenly you're upside down and everything at that point. You kind of get a different perspective that way. It's really, really unique in that sense and it's really nice as you do that too. It does have full con controller support and you can play it in big picture mode so if you have a Steam Link like I do you can play it on your TV which is actually what I was doing for a little while as well. Um, it does have like a, a speed running type thing as well where you can actually um, track like the number of frames that have elapsed and everything too so you can make sure that you try to complete the levels as fast as possible for a little bit of replayability there and everything too. Overall, I really thought that it was a fun game. I mean, there's a level editor, um, there is some mod support on there as well, there's uh, Twitch plays as well, so you can actually host your game on your Twitch account and have followers control the game with chat commands, which is pretty cool. Um, and then it has Steam integration for like cloud saves, trading cards, all that type of stuff. Visually, the game's pretty cool as well. Like I talked about, it's a 16-bit aesthetic, so basically it's a throwback to those old type of um, pixel art type games like that as well. Everything looks pretty nice. Um, I mean, nothing too crazy fancy, but not too bad either. It does look, again, kind of like a mobile app in a sense, but um, it plays very well with a controller and on keyboard as well. Audio-wise, nothing too fancy as well. I mean, for a $5 game, I didn't expect a whole huge crazy soundtrack or anything like that, but for what they do have in it, it, it sells fine. I mean, there's uh, definitely a lot more music than the um, original Flash game release back in 2012 and it has more biomes and it's all like remastered original content and stuff like that as well. So I mean the music sets the, the atmosphere, the sound effects are great and everything too. Um, it's it's just a very basic 16-bit chiptune type track I guess at that point. Now replayability wise like I said there's like this whole idea of collecting stars as you go through the level so you definitely want to try to max out and get as many stars as possible if you're that type of person that you want to you know get the best path possible. Um, it also has kind of like I said the, the speed running aspect and then the level editor and the mod support too so you can actually create your own custom art, music assets, your own level packs, design your own levels with the level editor, all of that stuff too which is really really cool. I think that because of that for being five bucks it's definitely worth it. I mean being able to just go back and be able to create your own levels let alone trying to beat them as fast as possible and collect all the stars in any which way you can, it's really really neat. The game plays really well, it's extremely easy to pick up and learn, and you can kind of just start and stop whenever you want. The levels are pretty quick and they start getting challenging pretty fast there as well, and as you can see I made a decent amount of progress in here so far, and I thought it was a lot of fun. It's something I keep on playing every once in a while, just when I want to play something quick, I'll pick it up, play a little bit, set it back down, and have no worries there. So again, I'll have all the links down below. Tell me what you thought about the game. If you want to leave in the comments any ideas for a new series or anything like that, I have a couple things on my plate that I'm going to be working on. Trying to maybe work in some Let's Plays or maybe like a, a weekly discussion about gaming news and stuff like that. So if you happen to get this far in the video, let me know what you think about that. Otherwise, guys, I'll see you next time. Thanks, have a great day. Bye-bye.